our discussion with the president centered on our strong and cordial relationship between the two countries. And then I reassured him of my commitment to build on what we already have, you understand, to make our relationship stronger. And that is what I am going to do. We have a lot between Rwanda and Nigeria. We have three strong agreements already functional now. We have the military training agreement, we have the bilateral air services agreement, and we have the, the TAC, Technical Aid Corps program, you know, human uh, capacity where we bring our um, doctors and uh, health um, officials to come here to work for a number of years to assist the ministries here, you know, the health ministries. And uh, right now, as I am talking to you, we are working on one called the Joint Permanent Commission uh, already. We are talking about signing it. It will soon be signed. We are working on um, the date and the venue for the signature. So we have a lot already. We are working on it. And uh, we are two African countries, two sister countries. We are ready to work together. Our, our relationship is very strong and cordial, and I think there will be benefits for the two of us. And under that uh, Joint Permanent Commission, you know, it, it, it will give us a lot um, uh, to relate with, you know, under political, economy, social, security, so many things will come. It's an umbrella agreement, you understand. So there will be a lot of benefits. Uh, what I hope to prioritize on is um, investment between the two countries investment between the two countries that is uh, getting the business people of Rwanda going to Nigeria getting the business people of Nigeria uh, coming here you understand to invest here that is what I want to prioritize on economy that's what I am here trade I am delighted to be in Rwanda as the High Commissioner for the United Kingdom. Uh, we discussed uh, the importance of the relationship between our two countries, working on issues such as climate change and education and other ways that we could strengthen the relationship as we go forward over the next few years. I think it's really good. Um, we have a lot of agreement on many issues. Uh, it's the Global Education Summit this week being hosted in the United Kingdom and we work very closely on that issue with the government of Rwanda, particularly on girls' education, but we also share uh, the same views on things like regional security, on climate change, for example. So I think it's a very important issue when we come to not just discussing the bilateral relationship, but also bigger international issues too. Yes, yeah, so I have been in the diplomatic service about 20 years. Uh, most of that has been working on or in Africa. I have done postings in Sudan and in South Sudan, but I've also worked for the UK Minister for Africa uh, and I've worked in Washington dealing with African affairs. Uh, but my most recent job was working on Brexit, so that was slightly different, working on uh, European issues, but uh, mostly on Africa. I think the Chogham Summit is a really important uh, event and we hope that it will be able to be organised early next year. We are working very closely with the government of Rwanda on that and I'm sure they will be hosting an excellent event. Uh, but it is a chance to bring us together to discuss a lot of the important issues that as Commonwealth partners we share, whether it's on governance, whether it's on climate change, whether it's on trade. Uh, so I think it's going to be a really important event and I look forward to working with the government here on preparations. I'm really struck by Rwanda. I was in Rwanda 10 years ago when I drove from Goma in the DRC to Kigali and the beauty of the country got me hooked. So I've been waiting 10 years to come back. So now that I am here, I'm very excited to be here. And the people of Rwanda have given me such a warm welcome uh, that I'm really excited about the next three years because uh, it seems a very welcoming country to be in.
an ambassador is always there to, to improve you know, the bilateral relations, uh, I would say, between the two capitals, between the two countries. So sometimes it's difficult uh, because uh, you have a framework, you know, uh, which is not very uh, positive. And sometimes it's much easier uh, because the framework uh, is, uh, is, is positive and dynamic. And I am lucky, you know, because uh, I arrived here just uh, two months uh, after uh, the historical visit of President Macron in Kigali. Uh, I could see, you know, I had, a, I believe, a, a, a long discussion with President Kagame. Uh, I could see that he's very eager, you know, also to improve the, the ties with France. Uh, that is also happy uh, of the job which was done in France uh, with the uh, nuclear report uh, uh, on the genocide of the Tutsi. Uh, and as I said in French, uh, but I will say it in English now, uh, I think we have the, the basics, uh, the, the fundamentals, uh, now to uh, build uh, a new relations uh, so that uh, uh, both uh, the Rwandese people and the French people uh, get some, some profits, I would say, you know, from this improvement. Uh, uh, that's, that, that's what we need. I mean, uh, uh, Rwanda definitely uh, needs some uh, uh, partners for development, but France needs also, you know, a new partner for uh, its uh, uh, policy in Africa. Uh, uh, and, and, and Rwanda uh, is uh, in this field, you know, an interesting uh, uh, state to work with. Yeah, because uh, uh, since uh, 1994, uh, you have had impressive results. Uh, uh, everybody who, who visits Kigali, you know, uh, is impressed. Uh, there is for sure a lot to do, uh, probably also in the countryside. I didn't visit it yet because I arrived only on the 12th of July and, and uh, there is a lockdown. Uh, but I am convinced uh, that uh, uh, you have the skills, you have the needs. Uh, we have also some skills, we have also some needs, I think we need you uh, and uh, I am confident uh, that uh, our bilateral relations, uh, uh, first of all, will continue to improve, but especially will, will, will be a kind of tool to deliver, you know, uh, uh, things in the field of education, in the field maybe of uh, cooperation uh, for medicine, in the, uh, in the field also of agriculture, you know, there are, there are many, many uh, in business, so there are many areas uh, uh, where our two countries can work together.